let's solve this absolute value inequality. The first step is we want to isolate the absolute value expression on one side and constants on the other side of the inequality. So let's subtract 5 from both sides. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. And normally from here, we would then take a look at the properties of solving absolute value inequalities. So we see it says if there's a real number, a constant, and we have the absolute value of an expression of the variable is greater than the constant, then that's equivalent to the expression is less than minus k or the expression is greater than k. However, we can see that this is a special case because the constant k is not greater than 0. It's negative. So what does that mean? Well, what you can see is that for any value of x that we plug in, this inequality is always going to be satisfied. No matter what x we plug in, we're we're always going to get something that's greater than or equal to zero, which is always greater than or equal to negative one. So therefore, the solution to this inequality is that x is all real numbers.